it's the end of the year. It's the end of the year. And so I'm thinking about the last seven years. Um, you know, the anniversary of Amy's uh, cancer and her death and all of that. And I'm thinking about her smile just radiating me up today. And I'm thinking about love. I'm thinking about heart, felt, energy, so much. And I'm also realizing that seven years, you don't realize it's passing. You know? Sure, it's gone, but it's like watching grass grow. You don't realize how much grass has really, how much it's really grown. And the other thing that reminds me of is this quote by William Shakespeare. What wound did ever heal but by degrees? And that's like grass growing. Little bit of a time, little bit of a time. Until you really realize that you've made some big progress in your grief. And I have, and I'm resonating so much, so much right now at a heart level because so much has changed. I have more self-compassion, a lot more self-compassion. Yeah. And I have, one of the reasons I have that is because a big space has opened up for me from all of my experiences all of my experiences have been um, allowed in. And this is something new for me. And uh, it's unfolding. It's like, a, it's like baking a cake, actually. It seems like something's folding in. And before I would say, there's not room for you. I don't have room for you. But now I have room for everything. I just take it all in. Yeah. So here's my cake. Oh, I haven't used pastels for a while. I so love them. I'm putting seven candles on it. And we'll put, we'll put these in the background. There's my new cake. It's accepting. It's so much more accepting of experiences. And it's made my path a lot lighter. So much lighter. And my grass, oh my goodness, it's unfolding. My body and spirit are lighter and my path is clearer. And I have to give credit to the art process, my guardian angels, because art is a process of connecting with the divine spirit. It's spontaneous and intuitive when this happens and you kind of get out of the way of it. So if you've been doing smash books, you might know this, but it has some magic in it. And there really are no rules. It's just a place to connect with your heart. And I like to put my fingers really close to the page because that makes me feel the connection even so much more. So much more. And this book is just a container. It's in a container for all of this expression that I have. And, uh, and it's opening up, letting me go of fear of failure, giving me more of an opportunity ask for help. To ask for help from my creator.
my angels. Angels. And I love the spaciousness, allowing all experiences, everything. It's what I'm made of. It's not just all this great energy, but I know that a desire to be created is a desire to meet and mix with a greater energy. And everyone's created. Everyone, everyone. And in Smash Booking, there are no rules. Just don't stop. It's between you and yourself. And so I'll be working on this page for quite a while. Quite a while. And the other bird that has been resonating with me is Reconcile. Reconcile. Reconcile means to make good again. Reconcile. Uh, make good again. Reconcile. Yes. That is something I never thought I would see. Never see that. Oh, wow. So, my heart is flowing again. Today, my grass is growing. I have been so many experiences in the past seven years that I can't even go into them right now. In many ways, I'm a different person, and in many ways, I'm a much better person. Which kind of? Which kind of? It's softer. I'm softer. A lot softer. Oh, so much. So much is softer. much healing. So much healing. And when you reconcile, yeah, you realize that. Okay. I understand this. My head and I understand this in my heart now. I understand this in my heart. And my heart is glowing. I wanted to share this with you. I don't know, because and my fellow smash bookers, some of you, my fellow artists. Well, we know creativity heals. I know creativity heals. It's what's kept me afloat. Oh, it's kept me afloat because creativity, like I said, is that connection with that divine spark. And sometimes it's a connection with the muse. Oh, and the spaciousness of I do love that spaciousness that I never had before. I just this uh, so much, so much fuller. Okay, and so I guess one of the biggest things is this whole process has done for me is made me realize what I really am. What I really am 
so much more than I ever thought I was. And I thought that I had boundaries, like so many boundaries that I couldn't cross. So many. And as I go about this process today, I want you to realize that you can't or don't want to hide don't want to hide. I was a big hider. Offer your heart to the task. Offer your heart. Offer your heart. And go with your heart. No. You don't want to go hiding in caves and you need to be out with other people accepting their love. And giving. I always want to share what I learn. But we need each other. And this is just a fun way, a therapeutic way of sharing my soul with yours. And it's opening up my heart. How to I enjoy life and move on and reconcile and know that it's all good. So many people, so many people, my Amy gave me all this, my angels, my Amy, don't run around the world looking for a hole to hide in. No, no, no. There are wild creatures in those holes. Yes, there are. And now this is this is kind of a new way of me working with the, the brushes and the pastels. I usually do watercolors. And I'm trying to be more gentle because my work can be so boldly bold. And it can be so much of uh, releasing anger. I don't feel that today. I don't feel that at all. And I always remember when I was a little kid and I threw temper tantrums. Yeah, sometimes I still do. Sometimes I still do. But not here. Not here. I'd save that for another page. I have room for it on this page if it wants to come out, but I'm completely, I'm feeling completely calm. And I'm going to continue to work on this for a little while and maybe add other things here. I saved these quotes that were on this page just because I like them so much. It's a risk to have a husband, a risk to have a son, a risk to have a daughter, a risk to pour your confidences out to anyone. I risk to pick a daisy for there's sure to be a wonderful risk. It's sure to be a cop. That doesn't make any sense. A risk to go on living, but a greater risk to stop. Oh, I guess that's a poem. Let me redo that one. It's a risk to have a husband, a risk to have a son, a risk to have a daughter. A risk to pour your confidences out to anyone. A risk to piss a pick a daisy where there's sure to be a cop. A risk to go on living. But a greater risk to stop. That was written by Ruth Mason Rice, I think. Or it could be R-E-C-A. Wow, that's for sure. And we all know we have a divine spark. And courage. Courage. Okay, sweeties, I'm going to say goodbye now, and I'm going to continue working on this. And you know, I'm your smash book lady, and I'm going to try to keep up with it. I have this license to do cosmic smash booking, and right now, it all makes sense to me. It all makes sense to me. It's coming together, and uh, I'm reconciling. Love you.